students welcome to bosco campus vision i am sharon stanley assistant professor pg department of english don bosco college kutty in this lecture i discuss the poem telephone conversation written by the writer paul soenka he is a nigerian playwright poet and essayist he was awarded the 1986 nobel prize in literature The poem Telephone Conversation by Bol Soinga draws upon an unseen picture of humanity where it projects the innate difference that resides between individuals. It is depicted through the conversation of a white lady and an African man. Now I read out the poem. The price seemed reasonable, location indifferent. The landlady swore she lived off premises. nothing remained but self confession madam i want i hate a wasted journey i am african silence silenced transmission of pressurized good breeding voice when it came lipstick coated long gold rolled cigarette holder pipped caught i was foully how dark i had not misheard i would light or very dark button b button a now i move on to the analysis the title reveals the fact that two people are talking on the phone so the beginning of the poem is in a positive note the man is searching for a house and the landlady has named a constable price and the area where it is located is an impartial and not racially prejudiced also the man could enjoy his privacy as the landlady does not live under the same roof the african man is ready to accept the offer but maybe there has been a similar incident in his past for he stops and admits to her that he is black saying he prefers not to waste the time traveling there if she is going to refuse him on that bounds Now I read out the next stanza. Stench of France and breath of public hide and speak. Red booth, red pillar box, red double tired omnibus belching tar. It was real, shamed by ill-mannered silence. Surrender, pushed dumbfounded to beg simplification. Considerate she was, varying the emphasis. Are you dark? a very light revelation came here we see the man is so disgusted he can literally smell the stench coming from her deceptive words and see red everywhere around him ironically he is the one who is ashamed by the tense and awkward silence which follows and asks for clarification thinking sarcastically that the lady was really helpful by giving him options to choose from he suddenly understands what she is trying to ask and repeats the question to her stating if she would like him to compare himself with chocolate dark or light let's move on to the next stanza you mean like plain or milk chocolate her accent was clinical crushing in its light impersonality rapidly wavelength adjusted i chose west african sepia and as after thought down in my passport silence for spectroscopic flight of fancy till truthfulness clanged her accent hard on the mouthpiece what's that conceding don't know what that is like brunette here she dispassionately answers and his thoughts change as he describes himself as a west african sepia as it says in his passport the lady remains quiet for a while not wanting to admit to her ignorance but then she gives in to curiosity and asks what that is he replies that it is similar to brunette and she immediately clarifies that that's dark 
That's dark, isn't it? Not altogether. Facially, I'm brunette. But madam, you should see the rest of me. Palm of my hand, soles of my feet are a peroxide blown. Friction caused foolishly, madam, by sitting down has turned my bottom raven black. One moment, madam, sensing her receiver rearing on the thunderclap about my ears. Madam, I pleaded, wouldn't you rather see for yourself? Now, the man has had enough of her insensitiveness. He disregards all constraints of formality and mocks her outright, saying that he isn't all black. The soles of his feet and the palms of his hands are completely white. But he is foolish enough to sit on his bottom, so it has been rubbed black due to friction. But as he senses that, she is about to slam the receiver on him. He struggles one last time to make her reconsider, pleading her to at least see for herself and only to have the phone slammed on him. Telephone Conversation by Wal Soenga draws upon an unseen picture of humanity where it projects the innate difference that resides between individuals. It is depicted through the conversation of a white lady and African man. The poem is a mighty comment on racism, coupled with prejudices that still exist. The poem casts a harsh light on the racism and prejudice which grips society. It is written in an independent style and it is delivered in passively sarcastic tone. The poem is packed with imagery, irony, puns and sarcasm. Now let's discuss the literary devices. Wolf Soenga uses two main literary devices to convey the message of the poem. The first of the two is imagery. Right at the beginning, the imagery used to describe the mental image the man has of the woman is lipstick coated. Just when listening to her voice shows one that he thinks that she is socially speaking above him from a higher social class. Later, when he hears a question regarding how dark he is, he is so humiliated and angry and he sees red everywhere. Next, the imagery of the huge bus squelching the black tar is symbolic of how the dominant white community treats those belonging to the minor black one. The next most evident use is that of irony. In the beginning of the poem, the African says he has to self-confess when he reveals his skin color to the lady. The color of his skin is something that he has no control over. So the fact that the man feels ashamed and sorry for this is ironical and also casts light on how ridiculous racism is that one should apologize or be differentiated solely because of the color of one's skin. On the other hand, the lady is continuously described in positive terms, suggesting that she is of a good breeding and upper class. Even when the reader finds out that she is shallow and racist person who exhibits extreme insensitivity by asking crude questions, the man seems to think that she is considerate. The repeated and exaggerated assertions of the woman's good manners and sophistication drip with irony as a speech contradicts this strongly. The basis of the woman rejecting to leave her house to the man is because of the prejudiced notion that African Americans are a savage and wild people. This idea is completely discredited by the ironical fact that throughout the poem, the man retains better manners and vocabulary than the woman. So here, Wal Soenka proves how absurd it is to judge the intellect or character of a man depending on the color of his skin only. I hope you understand this lecture. 
please write the critical appreciation of the poem telephone conversation written by Wal Suinga as your assignment. Thank you.